This is an overview of the animated hamburger icon. I'm going to show you how to make an awesome animated hamburger and toggle it to open a pop-up. Let's get started. To get started with our animated hamburger icon, the first thing we're going to want to do is jump into templates, into theme builder, and we're going to create our website header and add the hamburger icon to the header. So I'm going to jump into headers over here and I'm going to click add new to create a new header. I'll give my header a name and click create template. Now what it's going to do, it's generating a header and it will give us a couple of presets we can choose from. You can choose one of these or you can just click close. I'm going to click close. And I'm going to search for the widget, Animated Hamburger Icon. This is an Unlimited Elements widget. You need Unlimited Elements installed to use it. I'm going to drag this inside. And let's go over the settings first of all. So first setting is for effects. There are different types of effects. You will see this only once you click on it. So for example, this effect creates an arrow. And this one creates maybe an X, closing X. So these are pretty cool. You can play around with this. You can align this any way you want. I'm not going to align it because later on we'll use fixed positioning to position this. Inside of link, we're going to use the link to open a pop-up and we need to get our pop-up set up first. So let's jump into style, see what we have over here. So we have the color for the hamburger itself. So you can make that whatever color you want. Active color is the color once you click on it. What color is it? And size, we can push up the size to whatever size we want. Border radius, background color. Let's push up the border radius all the way so it's a circle. Looks awesome. We can change also the background color to whatever we want. And the inner icon size, you can also play around with that as well. Perfect, so I think I got everything set up. Take in mind that the icon size and the size are uh, responsive values. You can set it up differently for tablet and mobile. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to position this. So I'm going to click on it once. Inside of advanced, I'm going into positioning. Over here, I'm going to select inline auto. And in position, I'm going to select fixed position. Let's snap this to the right and to the top and move it 100 pixels from the top and from the right. So this is the exact position that I want it in, looking good. The next thing I'm going to want to make sure inside of the advanced section is I want to give it a Z, Z index of 10,000 pixels. Now this is really, really important. Otherwise you're, it will be under the pop-up and it won't be over the pop-up. So you're going to want to put a really, hot, really big value over here and we can click publish add condition entire site save and close perfect let's jump back into wordpress let's go into the dashboard now i'm doing this in two tabs just so i can make the pop-up as well so over here inside of templates I'm going to pop-ups and we're going to create our menu pop-up i'm going to click add new pop-up and give it a name let's call it menu Create template and this time to make it faster I will use a preset from the amazing Elementor templates so let's scroll down you see you have a menu over here I'm going to choose a different one I saw a really nice one earlier today so look how awesome this is I'm going to click insert now it's inserting all the widgets and the layout into our Elementor pop-up and you can see we can we have our hamburger also over here so and behind that we have the original close button so to get rid of that i'm going to click over here in settings i'm going to go for close button and i'm going to turn that to off now we have only our close and open button and we'll publish this so publish and add a condition entire site next next save and close perfect so we got our pop-up published Let's jump back into our header template and I'm going to refresh the page. 
just so it loads all of the data again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the widget and in link I'll choose dynamic tags. Scroll down in actions I'll choose pop-up. Let's set up the pop-up settings by clicking the settings icon over here. And we're going to choose toggle pop-up and now we can choose the pop-up. So I'm going to choose the menu pop-up. Perfect. We got the menu pop-up set up over here. And now when we click on it, it toggles the menu, it opens the menu, we click on it again, it closes the menu. This is toggling our pop-up. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.